Next up is Andy. Andy is going to give us a talk called 100 Metres. Hello. Okay. So, um, what is, uh, name one of the best games uh, that you can think of from the past. Obviously, the answer is Daley Thompson's Decathlon. Uh, were computers better in the old days? Uh, obviously not. They're much better now. But what was better in the old days? Uh, things were a lot simpler. So, for example, I knew what resolution my screen was. So why not just recreate the old days in now? Uh, that's what I've done. So I've written some very, very stupid JavaScript called Small Pixel. Here's a game uh, written using Small Pixel. Um, you just make a game object, say how big you want the screen to be, give the game a name, and then you just start the game by passing in a code name, a model to use, a view function, and an update function. And having written that code, I get a game like this, which doesn't do anything. So let's write a game. The first thing I like to do is draw something on the screen. So I'm going to call screen.draw. And at the coordinates 10, 25, let's say on our 60 by 60 screen, I'm going to draw something. The way I tell it what to draw is I give it, um, I give it an array of ASCII art. And I say what color each pixel should be in that ASCII art like this. So what I'm saying is when I draw a hash, I'd like that to be green. I've typed that wrong. Uh, like that. So I'm just, I'm going to cheat and paste in my ASCII art. I apologize. Um, but I wanted to make sure I fit in the time. So that, this is a picture of a runner. Hopefully you'll be able to see that um, better when I test out the game. So we have a runner on screen. Uh, it doesn't do anything yet. So what does a game need? It needs to be able to show something on the screen, but it also needs to be able to have a model or a thing, you know, a, a game simulation. So our simulation is going to look quite simple. It's going to be an X coordinate of our runner, and it's going to be which leg is currently on the ground. Well, I don't know how you run really. Let's say that. So the left leg is on the ground, and our position. Uh, is X. So instead of drawing our runner at 10, we're going to draw our runner at 10 plus model.x. And I'm going to go back to my browser and test it out. Still works. So now we need to update the model every time step. I'm going to start off by just moving along a bit uh, every time step. Test that out. Did something wrong. Can't type. Uh, so our runner moves, but well, that's not good enough. We need our runner to only move when we press the left leg at the right time or the right leg at the right time. So we're going to loop through the input we've been given. So we get our input in a small pixel like this. This is all the inputs. If we got an input whose name is right, that means you press the right key. We want to do something if your left leg is down. Pressed right. And similarly, something similar. If you press left and your right leg is down, we want to do something pretty similar. What we want to do is move. Oops. And also, we want to update which leg was down. So, um, not oops, not great code. I'm going to paste some stuff in there, but hopefully you appreciate it. So we're going to test this out. When I press left, uh, right, a lot of times I only move once. If I press left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, I move. The game is working. One last feature I think we can squeeze in. I can draw just how far along the screen I am if I'm quick. like this. So as I move across the screen, my score increases. I'm sure you can see how you could change the update function to like let you get to the end of the race, stuff like that. If you like really simple things, uh, maybe check out my website, free and open source games, smallpixel.artificialworlds.net. Some of them are written using this framework, including the one I'm hovering over right now. Maybe join in.
Thank you very much, Andy. That is awesome. Single-handedly saving the UK gaming industry, one pixel at a time. What's black and shoots out of the ground shouting poo? Crude oil.